Hi everyone, I'm David. And I'm Leah, and this is Wine Forecaster. Today we're at Six Mile Creek Vineyards in Ithaca, New York. Yeah, so this is on the Cayuga Lake Wine Trail, and it's right, right near Cornell University. Yeah. So you know, if you're down in Ithaca, this is a place that you need to explore. They have a wonderful uh, winery here and, and vineyard right on, on the estate. Um, right in front of us, there's this beautiful pond and several picnic tables, which is great because we like to picnic. We're going to bring the dogs out here and, and uh, enjoy some wine with some cool things. And we thought that their Saval Blanc would be perfect mm -hmm. for, for, the per for this picnic, right? Picnic. We don't want something that's too overpowering, and of course it's middle of the day, so you don't want anything that's too heavy either. Mm -hmm. Most of the whites are grown right here on the estate itself. The reds are outsourced to vineyards that are closer to KU Lake, and that's because we're in this valley. Yeah, absolutely. So typically vineyards are on the lakes, yep. in the Finger Lakes at least, just because of the climate that the water produces. However, we're here, here in kind of a valley, a creek valley, creek valley yeah. and um, it's a little bit different. So um, they outsource a lot of their red grapes, which is great because they make wonderful red wine as well. Mm -hmm. So let's give this a, first off, you know, just before we even get to the tasting, the color of it, perhaps you can see it with my white shirt in the background. <laughs> it's kind of like a, a yellow, a pale yellow green mm -hmm. mixture, but it's, uh, that's different. I get some citrus. I actually get grapefruit with this. So I get a little bit of a, almost like a buttery component to it. Almost like a butter, butter is kind of like, almost like melted on an apple. That's kind mm. of what It's similar to a Chardonnay. Don't you agree with that? A little bit, yeah. Unoaked Chardonnay. So there's, there's a, it's, it's semi-dry, there is a bit of a crispness to it, but it's not like, it's not like tasting your Riesling where you get that real sharp crispness. This is more of a mellow, uh, maybe a, a little bit more, uh, it's lighter on my palate. How about yeah, you? What do you think? Absolutely. It's, it's um, a very pleasant midday wine, something that you want to have <laughs> during this time period, you know, for mm -hmm. a picnic or for lunch or something yeah, like that. it's very refreshing and it's, you know, 88 degrees right now. Mm -hmm. So this is definitely, you know, something that you would definitely refreshing. So we were balancing the bottle on the, on the chair here and almost lost the bottle a few minutes ago. So we've got a balancing on the back. Um, looks like the label's got like this creek going through it, which is kind of uh, interesting, but it's their 2013 Savelle Blanc. So that's the one that we're tasting today. And they also have spirits. They do. They have a distillery here. Um, we tried three different ones, mm -hmm. uh, Grappa, Limoncello, and an Amaretto style, all of which were really, really good. good. Yeah. I'm a big fan of Grappa. In fact, we're going to do a Grappa tasting <laughs> pretty soon. I don't know if that classifies as wine. It does classify. <laughs> it used to be poor man's wine. Now it's <laughs> expensive. So, but we're going to do that sometime soon. Get you to try that. Okay. So, so they also offer vodka and gin as well. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, you can check out uh, Six Mile Creek's website. It's right here. Mm -hmm. And don't forget also to check out our website because we've added some gluten-free things to it as well. Yep, so some restaurant reviews and then also we'll have some recipes coming up mm -hmm. as well. All right. So Six Mile Creek Vineyards 2013 Savelle Blanc. I'm David. And I'm Leah. Thanks for joining us. Check out our website at fingerlakeswinereviews.com.